We walk on them. We grow our food on them. Our ancestors made paint, pottery, and bricks from them. Soils are the bedrock of civilization. To make the best use of our soils and keep them healthy, we must know them well. This is a challenge, as soils are as diverse as the combinations of climate, rock, and topography on Earth. Properties like pH value, texture, organic matter, and nutrient contents result from chemical, biological, and physical processes running since millennia, sometimes since millions of years, often strongly influenced by humans. Soil properties vary horizontally, from one spot to the next, and vertically between the horizons of the soil profile. Soil's suitability for different uses is just as diverse. Farmers have always classified soils according to their usefulness. In the modern era, Vasily Dokuchayev from Russia laid the foundations of soil science. His ideas were taken up in many places and inspired systems such as the USDA Soil Taxonomy and the FAO World Reference Base for Soil Resources. These systems classify soils based on color, texture, organic matter content, carbonate content, or smell of soil horizons. Evidence of weathering, leaching of minerals, or animal burrows are also used for soil diagnosis. Physical and chemical properties dominate soil classification, yet soil biology is equally as important for soil health and fertility. Virtually all organic inputs, dead bodies and excretions of plants, animals, fungi, bacteria, and other organisms, pass through the microbial metabolism being incorporated into new biomass or turned into carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and other molecules. This soil metabolism affects the function and health of entire ecosystems. To cite Sir Albert Howard from the UK, a founding father of organic agriculture, the health of soil, plants, animals, and humans is one and indivisible. Put another way, about 80% of the value of global ecosystem services can be linked to soil functions. Due to the diversity of soil processes and of purposes soils are used for, soil health is not readily quantifiable, but there are common denominators. Most plants thrive best on soils with well-balanced properties. Soils should be stable, with no impenetrable layers in the root zone. The pH should be slightly acidic to neutral, allowing for the uptake of metallic and alkaline nutrients. Moisture should be stored in sufficient quantities, without waterlogging. The soil must be able to store nutrients, an ability measured via the cation exchange capacity. Essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium must be sufficiently available to soil organisms and crops. Two keystones of soil health that mediate many of its aspects are soil texture and organic matter content. Some soil types have inherently favorable properties, Examples are the black earths in temperate and andosols in tropical ecozones. Much land is covered by problem soils, too acidic or too saline, too unstable or too hard, too poor in nutrients or organic matter for optimal plant growth. On top of that, we continue to lose some of our best agricultural land due to erosion, salinization, compaction, nutrient mining, and other processes of land degradation. By keeping soils healthy, Farmers fulfill an essential task and act as trustees of humankind.